Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 24, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etro, where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it has rallied significantly today. And uh, for those that uh, want to um, see how this affected the, the, the foreign exchange market, you can see my, my foreign exchange video where it, that it had major effects on most of these major currency, uh, currency pairs. So we are up uh, nearly 0 0.60, and that is fairly big move. We have seen some of these big moves recently, and we have been basically rallying up towards the 200 moving average. So we have not tested the 200 moving average for a really long time. So we did have this rally here where we got close to the 200 moving average, but we have never been, we have not been this close to the 200 moving average, basically since we basically broke down here and we have this rally above the 200 uh, back in March in last year. So this has basically been um, making havoc on the precious metals market and also the commodities market where we see the market is significantly down. So we will most likely run into major resistance around this area here, which is 92.72. And the reason for that is because we're going to get close to the top of the bullish band and we'll also run into the 200 moving average. And we also tested this area here and broke down uh, only uh, give or take two, three weeks ago. Technical indicators, they are all very bullish at this point. If we manage to break above the 200 moving average, then we could see this go significantly higher all the way up towards 95 and then all the way, all the way up to 100 again. And uh, last time we saw these massive rallies, well, you can see what basically happened in the stock market. We saw uh, basically the stock market collapse, but we're not there yet, not even close. Um, we are seeing um, basically unstable um, markets in the commodities and precious metals market. And uh, we're also seeing big changes in the currency or the foreign exchange market. So let's look at, the, at oil. So oil has been one of those markets that has been absolutely hammered. And this is probably only the beginning of this fall for oil. So oil has had this really strange rally to the upside if people go and go look at my videos for the last few months first part of this we basically hit bottom here at the 33 dollars and back here this was expected to drop much lower to 25 dollars and so on instead what we basically saw was a massive rally to the upside from 33 dollars all the way up to $67 before we see this basically pullback. So the first part of this was basically vaccine news. So vaccine news over and over and over again, expectations that everything will be going back to normal and so on. That was basically the big chunk of this rally uh, all the way to the end of December. And then we got stimulus news and then we got, uh, then we got OPEC and so on. So there's been a constant um, array of, uh, of news that has been pushing this market higher. It's certainly not been demand. And if you go watch back my, my videos, I've been uh, basically selling, uh, telling all the time uh, that demand in the world economy is basically non-existent at this current stage. Even uh, major producers like China, their economy only grew by 2.3%, if I remember my uh, my stats right last year so they're not using a, a heck of a lot of oil and nobody else is using a heck of a lot of oil so therefore where is the man demand coming from it's basically been non-existent and this has been purely speculation that has been driving this to the to the upside and now we're entering the third wave of the coronavirus uh, people are basically becoming um, nervous that demand probably isn't there and this these prices that people are paying for they are probably not justified and therefore we've seen this massive sell-off uh, furthermore the US dollar uh, is appreciating and that is definitely not helping this market so this was a really bearish candlestick 
We saw the, since then basically a rally of two days up towards the 20, and then we broke really uh, aggressively to the downside today. And this is a really nasty counter because there is no pullback. There's almost no pullback, and we're underneath the 50 moving average. So this could drop all the way down to 55. This could also drop to 53 and probably also 50. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements and get a, a look. Um, indication of where this could go. So first um, support will be here at 54.8. Next one will be here at 50, uh, 51, give or take. And then we have it all the way down here at 46.85. And also the 200 moving average will, uh, will act as support here. So this market could really tumble to the downside in the next few days. Techn or the next few weeks, I would say that. Technical indicators are very bearish for oil at this current stage, and this candlestick here, uh, we may see a pullback towards the 50 moving average, but that will probably be sold into, and uh, yes, basically rallies at this point will mostly be sold into. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas had uh, had a really nice day yesterday and rallied up towards the uh, 20 exponential we didn't get that far and then we broke down again so 200 moving average is offering quite a lot of support it's looking like it's holding and usually when something stays this long at a certain point you do see rallies to the upside however we are in the part of the year where demand for natural gas is significantly lower than it was basically only a few weeks ago so um We'll probably not see these massive rallies up towards three dollars. We may see a rally up towards the twenty exponential and the fifty, and those will most likely be sold into. If we break below the two hundred moving average, we can see this drop significantly lower. So, two hundred moving average is holding, and as long as that is the case, we're going to just see this really choppy trading occurring for the foreseeable future. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish at this point. So yes, it is uh, going to be interesting to basically see what basically happens in this market. So let's look at copper. So copper also fell off a cliff today. We're down more than 2%, trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average at the 4.025. Technical indicators are all very bearish at this point, so we may see this drop even lower towards the bottom of the bullish band at 3.9, and then we have the 50 moving average here at 3.8. Uh, rallies to the upside, well, we have basically been going back and forth so i would not be surprised if we saw a very similar candlestick on the opposite direction uh, tomorrow so you'll basically see it's basically been going back and forwards and going sideways uh, the last few weeks so let's look at gold so gold continues to stay at the same level which is a major warning we are we basically broke down today we're trading underneath the, the middle of the bullish band here at 17.29 and it looks like we are going to head towards the bottom of the of this range at roughly 16.79 technical units are all turning around 20 exponential is holding we did not manage to break above it and head towards the 50 so we may may well be it heads towards the bottom of this range so let's look at silver so silver has absolutely collapsed towards $25, which I also was expected. Usually when it sticks around for in an area for this long and does not manage to break above, it basically breaks to the downside and vice versa. At the moment, we're trading at $25 and we have find, found support at this range uh, several times in the past, basically here and also back here. So if we break below the $25 range, and this is a really, really negative candlestick, then we may head towards the bottom of the bullish band at $24.70 and the 200 moving average at $24.47. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So yes, it is most likely that we're going to go even lower from here. Break below the 200 moving average, well, that could see amazing, basically a tidal wave to the downside. So let's look at platinum. 
So we have uh, tested the 20 exponential again and then broke down. And now we're trading underneath the 50 moving average again. Technical indicators are very bearish for, for platinum. We have been in this situation before. We saw it basically here where we broke down below the 50 moving average, found support at the bottom of the bull band, and then rallied to the upside. So this is a very negative candlestick. So uh, there's no pullback here. So we may see this drop all the way down to the bottom of the bull band around 11.22. Rallies to the upside will most likely be sold into at the 20 exponential average. So let's look at uh, Pallium. So Pallium, we saw this massive rally last week. And since then, we have gradually grinded towards um, the will probably go to, towards the 2.5, which were the previous highs of, of this range when we're trading, where we're trading basically in this square. So we may drop towards 2.5 and then continue to the upside. However, technical indicators are very bearish at this point, so it may take several days before we hit support and then turn around from here. So we have the 20 exponential moving this way, the 50 moving this way, and we have this support area here we'll, we'll probably run into and then go higher towards 2.75 so let's look at aluminium so aluminium basically gapped down and then dropped even further so it has been absolutely nearly hopeless to trade this so it has been gapping up gapping down and then we see this massive rally to the upside massive rally, uh, breakdowns to towards the 20 exponential and at this moment, we're just witnessing more of the same. We're most likely going to head towards the 20 exponential at 2170. Technical indicators are all very bearish at this point, except for the MACD, which has almost crossed the signal line. When it, when it does, it may drop towards the 20 exponential and below that if this basically breaks. So how this, this has been behaving recently is basically it has broke down towards the middle of the bullish band and then rallied. So broke down, rally, and... Yes, that is probably what is also going to occur here. So let's look at nickel. So nickel tried to rally towards the 20 exponential and then broke down quite significantly. And that is a, not a very good sign. So that was basically what I was afraid of that the 20, we were not able to break above the 20 exponential. Doesn't mean that we won't. Um, just we'll probably just see more of the same going forward. 200 moving average offers quite a lot of is offering significant support, I was supposed to say, and the 20 exponential is off offering quite a lot of resistance. So we'll just trade into a corner somewhere over here, and then we'll have a move to the upside or to the downside. So at the moment, uh, at this current stage, just expect a lot of choppy trading. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to drop. We went all the way down to 0 0.15 and then pulled back. We were all way outside of the bullish band and uh, then pulled back. We most likely will continue drift. We probably will see a rally towards the 20 exponential. But these moves towards the 20 have, we tested it twice right here, broke down here and then broke down again. And it will probably break down the third time as well. So 0 0.15 offered quite a lot of support. So we may see this area here as an area where this will turn around. If we break below this, then we'll probably head towards a 200 moving average at 0 0.1409. Technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point, except for the stochastic that has turned around and is becoming bullish at this current stage. So let's look at cotton. So cotton continues to, um, to break down. We are testing these previous lows here. If that breaks, we'll head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.82. Technical indicators are very bearish. So we could see a base that tied away all the way down to 0 0.8, where we'll find major support, which was also major support over here. So we'll probably fall towards this area and then turn around to the upside. Rallies towards the 50 and the 20 will most likely be sold into at this current stage. So let's look at COA. 
So Kakoa also broke down quite significantly today. We're trading way underneath that 200 moving average. And this is a very, very negative candlestick. So we may see this drop all the way down to these previous lows at 2.3. If the, this breaks, then we're heading all the way down to 2.246, um, which is basically a lower range. So we are. this is looking very uh, negative for Kakoa. Um, this has been a market that has been almost untradeable for uh, the last few months. And um, at the moment, I would also stay far away from this market. So let's look at wheat. So wheat had a major rally towards the 20 exponential and then gave most of those gains back. Uh, technical indicators are all turning around for wheat. So this may well be where we found major support and this uh, will rally towards the upside from now. It is to be seen. Uh, we need to break the 20 and the 50 in order to um, basically confirm that this was basically the bottom. If this, this bottom breaks, then we could head towards 600 and then to 200 moving average at 585. But rallies at this current stage have been basically sold into. This is basically a fairly big pullback from this rally. But the technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside of this current stage, except for the MACD. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on eTerm. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.